I am about to do the first oil change on this 2011 Honda CBR 125R. The first oil, particularly the first oil change, is extremely important that it be done on time because uh, it removes the contaminants from the engine oil, suspended metal particles that uh, is that are generated in the breaking in process. I'm going to show you in this video what you need for the oil change and how to get it done with the least amount of mess. First off, materials. Obviously, you're going to need oil. For this model and this make, you need exactly one liter of oil. I love this 125 engine because it needs very little. So, one exactly one liter of oil. Make sure it's picked up from your motorcycle dealer so it's rated for motorcycles. Okay? Don't just put any oil in it, okay? You're gonna need a bucket to catch the dirty oil, a funnel to fill in the new oil, and you're gonna need a wrench with a socket on it, preferably a six point socket, and for this you need a 17 millimeter socket there, and a little bit of extension to reach in there from the underside. This motorcycle does not have an oil filter. I can't tell you about the design, uh, why or why not, it's a good idea, it just doesn't have an oil filter, so don't worry about it. All the contaminants, therefore, are in the engine oil at all times. It's extremely important that the engine oil be changed at the required intervals, which is 4,000 uh, kilometers for uh, those of you who are metric. What else I, uh, you need is uh, a torque wrench to put the oil drain board back. So that's all the tools you need. However, I also removed this body panel here on the bike because uh, I made a mess when I uh, didn't have it off. And to remove it, you're gonna need a five millimeter hex key, like that. That's what I mean by hex key. And uh, those are the body panel screws or bolts and uh, you're also going to need a Phillips number 2 screwdriver. The bolts, uh, the first one is uh, at an obvious location right next to the uh, brake pedal. Just four things to remove here. I uh, am already done with most of it. All of it. So the panel comes off. Let me show you where the screws, uh, screws locations are. It's going to be a handheld shot so gonna be a little shaky but uh, bear with me screws were removed from uh, let me just uh, wait for the camera to focus yes one was here and another one was there it's extremely tricky to get in there so before you can remove this body panel you have to remove this fairing and you have to take out one bolt from here and then uh, uh, do this with the uh, lower corner of the fairing, what I did, just to take a look. Come on along, take a look at that lower corner from here. Let's see, if it's not too bright, you can see that, that the bracket is here, where I took the uh, screw out from. And uh, lastly, once you have the body panel off, it's easy to get to the oil drain bolt, which is here. The only big bolt on the bottom, and when you take it out, you make sure you remove the washer with the oil drain bolt. This is the washer on it. This washer is a compression washer that provides see a seal between the uh, lower half of the crankcase and the head of the bolt. Make sure you don't strip this steel bolt in a cast aluminum uh, crankcase here, okay? Because it's the crankcase that's gonna go. That's why you use a torque wrench. If you don't have one, get one. In an emergency, you can just put it back with, uh, with a socket without a torque wrench and just put it back on gently, super gently, and check for leaks. If it doesn't leak, it's good enough, okay? So uh, when you remove the uh, 
oil drain, uh, the oil drain, drain bolt. Put your bucket underneath and catch all the dirty oil. Let me just put the camera back on the stand because I did one more thing. I usually, the bike usually leans on its left hand side and uh, what I did is uh, I right the bike like so, make it uh, vertical and just balance it and make sure it, I drain out all the engine oil. I also lean it to me a little bit, not too much, I don't want to be crushed underneath the bike's weight but just to get all the oil out. It is possible to do an oil change without leaning the bike to you. If you just lean it to vertical, it's gonna drain out perfectly fine without removing the fairing. However, uh, what happened here, I don't know if you can see this with this bright uh, sun, it's, uh, you can see there is mess on it. What happened was I leaned it to uh, the bike's uh, right side, which is towards the camera, and, uh, and uh, oil ran onto the fairing and it spread out on it and the oil was draining previously at exactly one spot directly underneath the oil drain bolt and now it was leaking at five different spots making a huge mess so uh, if you don't want a mess and want to lean the bike a little bit remove the body panel super simple four steps and uh, you pour in the fresh oil here where you have your dipstick this is the dipstick for this bike there a short one and you can see on it the upper mark just wait for the camera there marked by by a small triangle and the lower mark is the last horizontal line and an acceptable range for oil level is uh, on the dipstick uh, where you see two axes okay that's an acceptable range for oil level so pour in your fresh oil and uh, before you go anywhere run the engine for two three minutes make sure you don't have any leaks put the body panel on and uh, have fun riding <laughs>